Hello, I'm Helen Bradley. Welcome to this video tutorial. Today we're looking at editing the color in a video in Photoshop. This is a technique that you might use if you've shot a video in some poor light, for example, and if your video editor doesn't allow you to edit the color and the light, then you can do it in Photoshop. So I have a document open here, but I'm just going to choose File Open because I need to go and open a movie that I shot. So I'm just going to click OK. This is now opened here in Photoshop and you'll see that I've actually shot it from the side. So the first thing I need to do with this video is to actually rotate it. And I can do that by choosing Image and then Image Rotation. And I'll set this to 90 degrees counterclockwise. I'll convert it to a smart object layer. And now my video is going to be showing in the correct ratio. So that's part of it, but I also want to lighten it up. So I'm going to an area of the video that's a little bit dark and let's have a look and see what we can do. In the layers palette, you'll see that we've got a smart object layer for our movie. It's inside a video group it's possible to add an adjustment layer. We don't actually generally adjust the video per se, so we don't go to image adjustments, but we would go and add an adjustment layer. So let's select the video track and choose layer, new adjustment layer, and I'm going to choose a levels, for example. I'll click OK. Now with my levels adjustment, I want to be seeing sort of a problem area of the video on the screen so I can set it correctly. And I might want a little bit darker blacks, I want my whites to be lighter and brighter and let's just adjust the midtones as well to make this lighter. So this is what it looked like before, this is what it looks like now. So we can sort of make white paper if you like where there wasn't quite white paper before in the shoot. Now this is going to be the same for the entire video track. We've just added a adjustment that affects the entire video track. Now I've just come a bit further along there on the track and I'm thinking that it could perhaps even be a little bit lighter. Let's go back to an earlier portion of the track and just see how things are looking. I'm pretty happy with that. It's just a nice simple fix. It's the kind of fix that I could do in about two minutes in Photoshop. The most time it's going to take is getting the video in and then encoding it on the way out. So now that we've dealt with that, all we need to do is to export the video with those enhancements in it. And to do that, we'll choose File and then Export and then go to Render Video. Here you can choose what you want for your video. I generally go out at high quality because I'm going to adjust the quality later on in my editing software. So I'm going to about to create a really big file. If you don't want to create a really big file or if you're happy with the rest of your video and you just want to crank this out, then you may adjust your quality. I've got a document size of 1920 by 1080. This is HD video and frame rates and things are selectable here. You can work out how much of this you actually want to set up, but I'm going to export the entire entire movie and generally it will be preset for me so all I'll need to do is to go and find the folder that I want to use. Make sure that the file name is what I want it to be. Well I'm just going to change this to tv.mp4 but you can set your name to whatever you like and just click on render. Now it might take a few minutes for the file to render out but once it's rendered out those changes are going to be embedded in that movie file. So you can go ahead and either just directly upload it to wherever it's going, or you can go ahead now and edit it in your favorite editor, knowing that the color has been corrected if your favorite editor doesn't allow you to do that. I hope that video has helped you see the possibilities. And of course, you could use any adjustment layer on your video track. So you could turn in the black and white, you could apply filters to it, you could apply all sorts of adjustments that are available as adjustment layers just using that process. I hope this video has been of help to you, particularly those people who need to fix color in their videos. If you did enjoy the video, please give it a thumbs up. Click the subscribe button and hit that notification bell and you'll be alerted when new videos are released. Until next time, my name's Helen Bradley. Thank you so much for joining me here on my YouTube channel.